there everyone and welcome back to my next episode playing the Tectopia mod. I am Mar and well I was preparing for this episode. I wasn't quite ready but then I mean something weird is happening. I think my base is haunted. I'm standing here next to this house six. Doors open. I got three villagers in here right now and you know nobody nobody's lingering right here and yet like I'm all like I'm not I'm not the one opening it. Look I look away it opens look away it opens. I don't know what's going on. It's like, my my door is haunted. It won't stay shut. <laughs> and I'm holding tab right now. Nobody else is online. It's not Groove. It's somehow an invisi invisibility potion or anything like that. Um, you can see down here, nobody's logged in. Um, I was I was popping into creative earlier. I was, I was having problems with my XP. I wasn't gaining any XP. I don't know if I'm bugged or, or what, but the door will not stay shut. What is going on here? Okay, well, let's see. What happens if I take this down? Don't don't panic too much, villager. Why? Why? I don't. Ugh, that's so terrifying. Like I don't. What? I don't have like an invisible NPC here. I don't feel anybody. Like I. I don't. I don't feel like I'm pushing up against anyone right there. It, it's it's like free free and clear access. Is I'm wondering if maybe it, a villager's AI thinks it's still here and it's trying to open the door and open the door even though the villager is somewhere completely different. I mean, I'd feel like you'd have you'd end up with like a villager maybe just standing in place somewhere. I don't see anybody. I would think everybody's in bed right now or, you know, at least in their rooms. Um, or I suppose they could be in the tavern. But I guess we'll leave the, the weird door mystery for later. I, if it's still doing that, I want to show Gru when he gets on in a little bit. Um, in the meantime, we're going to head over here to the tavern. I don't know why I can't hear his music. I could hear it a little while ago. Maybe he's the one. Maybe he's the culprit here. But we've got all these villagers here. And they are they seem to be enjoying the tavern quite a bit. Um, we do, of course, have the kitchen in here. Okay. <laughs> I was curious. Is like that one bugged too? Um, I have not decorated it yet, but I have gotten everybody moved in properly, or at least the tokens have been moved over. However, about half of them, or a little over half of them, are still unclaimed. There, there, now we can hear his music. Um, and, and what I think I want to do is get some more villagers to fill up all the beds. Um, cause, cause even though I have all the villager types and quite a few of them, I act don't actually have, like, that many, like that large of a village. I, I still technically have a somewhat smallish or medium-sized village, and I think I'd like to get uh, get it a little bit more bustling, so I think the way to approach that is to get more villagers. Now, um, I did have one little mishap off camera. One of my miners apparently uh, somehow a zombie spawned downstairs and ate his face, basically. <laughs> um, so we did lose a miner. I do need to replace him. I haven't updated the, the boards in here in the, uh, the town hall to reflect that we lost a miner. Um, it still says four, even though we only have three of them. Because I figure we're about, we're probably, I mean, we're just going to get a new miner anyway. I'll just leave it as is. Um, but I do think I want to get some more, more villagers in general. Um, let's see. I, I don't think, don't, don't push, that's mean. I, I don't, like, I, I I mean, you can have, I'm pretty sure you can have more than one chef and one, more than one blacksmith. I don't know if you can have one more than one butcher. Um, so I could go with that. Uh, I don't know whether more ranchers is necessary or not. Um, that's possible, I suppose. I also don't know if having more than one cleric is of any benefit. And, of course, some of these villagers I'll eventually want to have um, be guards. Although, I mean... I, I did a quick bed check before I got distracted by this ghost door up here. Is it, is it still? Yep. Okay. Just just wanted to check. I did a quick bed check. I think there are nine empty beds. Now, with that being said, due to the way I've changed things, the, the housing over there is not housing anymore. And I want to, like I said, I want to switch those into house fours. So there's nine current beds plus four plus four plus four plus four. So that's what, like... 25 I think and since I moved the kitchen technically this room is now vacant as well and this could hold I believe another six so we're talking like 31 additional villagers just with what we've built so far and if you consider that the guards actually sleep in the bunkhouse if there's 
those beds available, then realistically, we could have even more than 31. You know, we, we, we might go even higher than that. Um, so we have plenty of expansion options as far as how many villagers we have. For now, though, I think I just want to get, uh, like, I'll, I think I'd probably just do the nine to fill the beds we have right now. Um, and then if I need more later, of course, we have the housing uh, ability to expand even further. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab my shulker here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I try to go for the ones that won't stack or at least haven't stacked yet. Um just to help conserve space in the inventory. So let's see, here's an empty bed here. Let's just, whoop, hello, hello, aren't you cute? Yes, you are. All right, now go to bed. Are you gonna claim that bed or are you gonna claim another bed? Thinking about it? Still thinking about, okay, he must have chosen a different bed because it is nighttime. He should go straight to bed right now. He's probably heading off there right right this moment. I think over to the tavern. So let's let's do another one. All right, hello. I love their, their, uh, their skin. I, I just like the little girl skins. They're so cute. All right, now is, are you going to claim this bed? Who's going to claim this bed? Someone's got to claim this bed. Nope, not her either. All right. Hello, buddy boy. You know, is, is it just my imagination? There are two boy skins and only one girl skin. We should have another girl skin. All right, he didn't want that bed either. How about you? You gonna go with him? You look like twins. <laughs> yep, he didn't want it either. Is anybody gonna take this bed? Come on, Raph. Take, take the bed. Come on. Please. Please. Come on. Come on. Nope, nope. Not gonna, not gonna have it. All right. Another little girl. Brina Rosemorn. Are you gonna take this bed? Or are you gonna? Nope. And she just goes off too. How about you? How about you, Allard? Allard Storm Chef? Nope. Nope. Apparently not. Surely someone will. I'm quite certain I counted nine empty beds. One of these two last kids. Okay. If this one doesn't take it, I'm going to be very confused. Please. 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 Take the, take the bed. Take the bed. Turn it green. Okay, now I'm really curious. I'm quite certain I counted... Alright, so one empty bed here. Oh, that, I forgot about the door not closing. Um, So one empty bed there. These are all full. Um, ow. These are all full as well. That's the cleric going to her bed. Uh, Where's the kid? Where's the kid? Did the kid already get by me? I think... She might still be coming. I'm not quite sure. Um... So we have a lot of kids going that direction. I'm going to cut this way because we can actually go up the stairs here. There will be no beds over there at all. These ones are full. Okay. And I know I counted out nine, right? These ones are full. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Yep, those are taken. Whoops. Don't, don't put that down. How about this? Yep, taken. And here? Taken. Must be the kids. Another one for the kids, I think. Kids. Oops, stuck on the door frame. Oh no! 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 Where? Where? Nope. Child's gonna die. Child's so dead. Why? Oh dear. Where did that happen? Where did that happen? Let's see here. This this episode is just getting going from bad to worse. Let's see. 604. 604 over this way. Okay, this is 604 by 41. This way? Why would a zombie be way over here? And why would the child be way over here? Hello? I, well, it would have been like right here, right? I don't understand where they where they spawn from. I mean, I've been here. Like, is there a spot over here? Oh, this block spawnable. I'm sorry, child. Well, we've just lost a kid. Where is that kid wandering off to? We've lost a kid, which is unfortunate. Sun is coming up. Um, and I guess I have to go spawn in another uh, another heart because we just lost a child instantly. Okay, well, let me let me spawn this child in. I actually had things uh, planned in mind other than the ghost door and children. Um, I wanted to decorate the tavern. I want to decorate it um, not down here necessarily because we've already done that. I'll, I'll save the torch spam clearing for later, I think. I want to decorate up here. So I want to put like paintings on the walls and all that sort of stuff. So let me do a little bit of work here and I'll be back in a minute once I have things like paintings and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Random villager. <laughs> of course, villager. And then, no, no, no. Aha! No. Uh -huh. 
It was like that ah. before. It was like that before. Oh, well, it, it didn't open anyway. Yes. Yes. That's the point. So there was a villager that was there, and he was just like invisible or something? I I don't know if it was an invisible villager. Probably. I, I don't know. But it was huh. something, and we have fixed it. Yes. We did science, maybe? Question mark? I have your dirt. <laughs> I got another uh, guide too. <laughs> well, I'm glad I, I'm glad we figured it out though. <laughs> I'm glad we figured it out though. Um, I, although I still have driven you crazy. I, well, yeah, it was driving me crazy. Um, but I, I'm also confused, or not confused, but concerned still about the light levels though. Yeah, so we've got to figure that one out. Because I can't figure out where they're spawning at. Eggs, garbage price. Uh -oh. No! Where? He's gonna where die. Where is that? I don't know. I can't see it. Where the heck? He's gonna die. Alright, he temporarily oh, I see got him. away. Where, 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 where? He's up up on the other side of the library. I, I, I found the thing, yes. Gonna die, he's gonna okay, die. I got I got the zombie. He died uh, from fire. <laughs> yes, because of the stupid zombie. Okay, where um, are they spawning? I have never had these so, problems before. So he he was in there, and I also saw somebody in here was unhappy. Well, yeah, because so, they saw someone taking damage. I mean, no, somebody was in here that was running from the damage. Because I don't think all of that was... No, there was multiple people that were getting damaged. Oh, it switched targets, I guess. Yeah, Kelmore and Is Iskalon. Kelmore came very close to dying then. Um, I don't yeah, understand. I, don't I have not had any problems in ever, and I haven't even changed anything. Ex I mean, I did add this at one point, but it should be completely spawn-proof in here. Or not. Okay, it's not spawn proof inside the library. Or inside the church, I mean. It is, uh. Hmm. I wonder if that's where all of them are spawning from. All of them, though, and pathing making, making all the way, way over, over there? Well, they would just follow the villagers. So if the villagers were, you know, going back to their bed and the zombies had seen them, then they're just gonna follow them back to their bed until they're able to start snagging one. Right. Remember, villagers, I mean, uh,. They only do walking. Uh, zombies only do walking speed. Villagers so it's not like run. they're going to... They're not going to run over to the villagers. Right. So they're just going to be walking over to the, where they see the villagers going. And eventually when a villager slows up for something, then they get caught. Okay. So maybe this is where they've all been spawning. This Could and that one well square be. of level seven. So I lost a farmer, which is unfortunate. Because I bet it was a high-ranked uh, farmer. Yeah, I, I bet probably. it was a high-ranked one. That's that's what's been happening when I lose them is they're the high ranked ones. Of course they are. That would make sense. And sometimes you would like, and and I don't remember if we figured out what exactly what caused this. What in the world is going on here? What? I'm I'm assuming Tango figured it out, but we would okay uh, then. Just find random death piles. Well, Gru, in our villages. I have solved the the question of uh, I don't know why it hasn't been a problem before now. Luck, I suppose. I found uh, five blocks that, that were not uh, covered with buttons on, uh -oh. on a building that's been here for a coon's age. Wow. Yeah, that's not good. No, it's not. But it's One, good that two, you found three, it. Four, five. Yeah. All right. Now, hopefully, I can rest easy knowing that I found all the spots. I hope. Until the next time I forget. See, that's you why are. most of my villagers die, is because I build things and then I forget to properly spawn proof, or, uh, yeah, spawn proof them. Or I think I did, and I actually didn't. All right, well, now that the, uh, the mystery of the haunted door has been solved, I have gotten a few things that I want to take use of. Now, I, I will probably do more decoration down here, too, eventually, anyway. I, I did get some things, as you see. I've got my inventory jammed up. I've got two different colors of carpet. I've got blue and green. Um... I, I don't know exactly, I, I think what I want to do is put uh, put um, carpet, oops, not like that, like this, 
And can I place it? No, I cannot place it in the block itself, but I can do it a little bit like this at all of the door entrances. Um, and it's not necessarily because, you know, green is my favorite color or anything. I actually prefer blue, but let's see. Maybe, maybe we'll do it like this, maybe? That looks pretty good. Um, and see, I see this is the part I don't necessarily like is when it's, uh, when it's in a, um, a non-odd space. Let's, let's get rid of that. Oops, don't do that. Now I'm going to be at risk of zombie spawning, so we want to try and stay in the vicinity so that it, they, they can't do that. Um, and then, I, I, do I want to put more carpet in? I, I could, I could do right, like, right here. I think I'm okay with it going right up to the edge of the fences because the fence donut doesn't actually take up the entire block space. And then maybe do it like this, going this way. Oops. Oh, I'm out of green. No, I can't be out of green. That simply will not do. All right, let's put some torches back down because we want to make sure it stays spawn proof. Um, here and here and here and here. That should keep it spawn proof for us. Um, I don't know, do, does torches actually, I can't remember, not torches, it, I can't remember if uh, carpet prevents spawns, but we can put torches on the fences here, just like that, and I guess I could also do that over here, so one here and here, and then I think I want to bring the carpet in here and around to the stairs, as well as finishing out that stretch there, so let me go grab some more carpet, well actually I'll grab the carpet in a moment, I also brought um, some banners, I don't actually know where I got these black banners. Uh, I think I must have gotten them when I was uh, at the, um, what am I thinking of? The mansion. Um, I don't necessarily think they're very interesting to look at, but I thought we could hang them up anyway. So let's see. Maybe, maybe we'll put uh, maybe one here and there. I've got one more. What would it look like if I put black ones underneath? Ooh, that kind of, I mean, that kind of hides the, uh, the token. I don't know if I necessarily like that. It is an interesting effect, though. Maybe if I just put them a little higher. So up here, and then there, there. Get rid of that one, and there. Get rid of that one. That's kind of interesting looking. I guess I could get on board with that. And I suppose that, that in, in that way, I could technically put one here as well. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. It's, I mean, it's kind of, it's mostly random, honestly. Um, I brought some picture frames. So, whoa, that is huge. Is it is always going to be that big if I put, what if I put it up one? I don't necessarily like it because it's not, um, I don't like how the picture frames are so giant. Why are they so big? Blimey, that's huge! Go away. Maybe put you here? Okay, that, that spacing I could pay, potentially get, ooh, I like that one. That one's nice. What, is this all that you have to offer? Nothing else? Just the creepy one and... Alright, I mean, I guess we'll go with the skull then. It's a little weird up there. Uh, nope, that's gonna be off-center. I don't like that. Let's see, where else could we put one? Maybe, if I, if I grab some blocks, can I force this to be like that? Yeah, there we go. Um, that one's possible. Is that really the only options? Okay, maybe that's the only option. I don't know. I don't use paintings very often. That that works, though. What do we got here? Oh, we got a 2x2. Two two. I don't know where a 2x2 two two would really work. Um, What is the spacing here like? A 2x2 two two would work here, I think. So maybe one there, there. That's kind of... I can't even tell what that one is. I guess we'll go with that. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll work. And then what about one here? I think those are the only painting options in the two by one. Alright, whatevs. I don't think I had any short ones though. Let's see. Maybe have a short one here. So uh, how would I do that? I would need to put one here and there, I think. Ooh, that's nice can't tell what that is. That's a creeper. I think I'm just gonna go with that one. I like that. So now we've got some paintings up. This is, this feels like the most decoration I've ever done so far, like, in this regard. I don't use paintings very often, mostly because 
Like, some of them are just, like, so pointless. I, I don't understand it. Um, I do like the, the scenery ones. I think those are nice. Um, this one is okay-ish, I suppose. Um, what is it? A person with a sheep, it looks like, or whatever. But yeah, I, I don't use them too often. I'm, I'm not that wild about them. Okay, so that's paintings taken care of. I did bring some bookshelves as well. It always makes sense to me that you would have bookshelves. So I'm going to just put, like, bookshelves all along there. And maybe here as well. Does that force them to walk down? There? Yes, it does. I don't think they'll climb on top. It doesn't really seem to make sense to me that they would. I'm going to temporarily put these up there. What I can also do is put down... Um, flower pots, and this shouldn't interfere with the painting back there at all. I can put another one there. Um, let's go ahead and put in an oak sapling and let's say a poppy. That'll work. Um, and another thing we can do here, I think, um, yeah, the end rods. I thought it might be cool to use end rods in some places just for added lighting so I could do that sort of a thing. Are you having a problem? Let me help you. Let me. Is, it, is that. What, what is your deal? Oh, is it the carpet? Yeah, okay. Alright, fair enough. He can't get in with the carpet there. Which I guess means you're stuck. And everybody else would be stuck too. Okay, well that's unfortunate. The children wouldn't have that problem, but the adults would. That's a little disappointing, honestly. Alright, well, we'll do what we can do, I guess. Um, anyway, back to what we were working on. Um, let's see. Where else would it be good to put bookshelves and... And, uh... Maybe, you know, a table might look good here. I could put an upside down stair and a slab and another upside down stair. I, I should have, oops, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Let's grab our, we we'll use dark oak might look good here. Let's do, oops, nope, don't throw it down on the floor. Pick that up. Um, let's use dark oak. Let's get ourselves a crafting bench and we'll just grab these. So you torch need to go away. And then do that. Oops. Well, I mean, I guess that'll work too. Well, that makes it look more like a desk. I don't really want it to look like a desk. I want it to look more like a table as you're, you know, going down the hallway or whatever. And then you can put a flower pot on it and maybe a spruce sapling in that one. And then is there any way we can... I don't really want end rods going that far up. That, that works, but I don't necessarily want it all over the place. Um, for now, we'll just put a torch down, which kind of, you know, a torch could look like a candle in a way. Um, part of the problem with these end rods is the ceiling is so stinking high. Uh, I could potentially put end rods going from this side to this side. That might, I mean, it wouldn't look, it's not like it would really change how it looks, but it would help light it up up there a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let me play around with this a little bit and see what I can come up with, and then I'll be right back. Alright, as the children drag their feet off to school with y'all, I think I'm finished. I have added a little sitting area here. I don't think they'll actually use it because this is not considered part of their, of any structure. Um, I don't think they'll, they'll recognize it unless it's a structure, but I did put these here just for the ambient effect, I suppose. I used end rods for the lighting up there. Um, I got the tor or I got the carpet down like 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 I wanted it more or less. I ran out of green carpet, couldn't drag it all the way around there. I've got torches on the walls and on the posts here, um, trying to be as strategic as possible while still um, you know providing as much light as I can. It should be completely spawn proof. The insides of the bedrooms were already spawn proof with those torches on those walls. Um, so I, I think we'll be uh, we should be safe on that front. Um, I, I was trying to think of more places I could put, like, more of these table things and, and wasn't really coming up with any luck. I do think I want to leave this crafting bench here. It's always handy having a crafting bench around. Um, and it should be spawn-proof. Um, I suppose I could put more bookshelves here. I don't know if that really helps it, you know, improves the look any, but, I, you know, it, it might be kind of a cool thing to do. Um, that, that's, it's the nice thing about this area in particular. You can decorate it however you want, so long as they can get in and out of the doors and whatnot, and it's spawn-proof. Um, but it doesn't interfere with their ability to function because, um, <laughs> as she walks over the table, because it won't count against, like, with normal structures, it, it would be counting against their, their block spacing and whatnot. Um, so, it, you know, you can be a little more free with your de decoration in these sorts of cases. Um, but I think I'm pretty happy with how the interior of the tavern has come out. Um, I, I'm going to 
potentially, I don't know, but potentially off camera, per perhaps. Um, I do want to do more decoration. I want to continue working on getting rid of the, the torch spam both insides. What are you doing in here? You gotta, you, you should be out there by your boat. Where are you headed? Um, random places over there. Yes, where are you going? In upstairs, huh? Okay, I don't know why you're going upstairs. Whatever. Um, he's exploring, I suppose. Um, but anyway, you know, we've been working on getting rid of the torch spam. It's, you know, it's a, it's a continual process, basically. Um, things left to do, I think, are to add the fishing hut that I wanted over here. Um, to finish the pier down there. Um... I don't know whether or not I'm going to build the lighthouse slash beacon that I thought about doing. It might be something I, like, like, I very much subscribe to the idea of, well, you can always improve on things. There's never really an absolutely finished place. There's always something else you can usually find to do anyway. Um, I do need to finish the chapel, of course, and I need to bring in a bunch of buckets of lava for this thing. Um, but generally speaking, we're definitely getting close. I've just got the, the pier mainly, the fishing hut, so we can get rid of, we can hide the AFK Fisher. Got to fill the, finish this building. Got to build our barracks out here. Um, those are the, those are the primary things I want to do before I really start considering this village close enough to being finished anyway. Um, and when I reach that point, I've been toying with the idea of, of trying to do an underwater, and I, now I say this, I don't know if it, how, how, feasible it even is, but I want to do an underwater village. Um, I got the idea while we were draining the ocean monument over there because we do have the other ocean monument on the other side. Now this one would be too close to use and we're turning it into a mob farm anyway, but the one over there is far enough away that I could turn the center of it into a village or, or at least near the center of it and then I was thinking of maybe putting like glass domes on the ocean floor and having those be where the villagers live. Um, I think that might present some interesting challenges that I'd have to overcome um, but I do want to finish or mostly finish up this base before I get that going. Um, and the nice thing is while I work on finishing up this base or this village and the village over there, if, you know, if and when I started underwater, um, that'll be what I work on while Gru works on the guardian farm and his base over there. And then long term, and I know I've, I've hidden, hinted at it. I don't remember if I've actually come right out and said it, but long term, Gru and I want to do a four corners village. Four corners positioned in a square as close as possible to them. I've done some testing in my creative testing world to get an idea of how far apart villages have to be in Sevtech in order to function. It seemed to be about 64 blocks between their borders. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do. And that's what these here are for. Um, I, I rated these and I put them up here. We're going to have a ranching community, a mining town, a lumber camp, and then there's technically a fourth. Um, there's a pre-existing village we're going to take over and turn into the farming community. So I'm going to have four of them. So that's like our long-term goals, basically. But before we can get to that, um, we're going to want, Gru's going to want, you know, he's going to, he's got his base he's working on over there and the guardian farm. And then I'm almost finished with my base here, but I also thought it'd be really cool to do the underwater village. So these are the, th the sorts of things that we're working on leading up to that Four Corners village. So if we ever hear us talking about Four Corners, that's what we mean. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun to build such a such a giant metropolis um and that's also why we're kind of saving up our villager hearts as much as possible um like look at all these villager hearts i have it's not as many as you would think it's i've got like what 30 of them 35 maybe um but i just like used nine of them just a little while ago to make all those children and whatnot so you know we've got a lot of expansion yet to come um but but we think it's going to be really cool when we get there so keep keep your eyes peeled I guess keep keep tuned in and we can see where this village goes where Gru's village goes and what villages come after um but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here I hope you've enjoyed this episode I hope you keep on coming back for more I hope you're excited about everything that's going on and I hope you're as, as relieved as I am that we solved the mystery of the haunted door um and yeah I just hope you keep on coming back for more but until next time I hope you have a fantastic time and I will see you later bye